this tutorial on how to perform various recent tasks using YOLO V11. In this tutorial, we are going to explore various recent tasks you can perform using YOLO V11, which are object detection, image segmentation, image classification, pose estimation, oriented object detection. We will learn what each task does and how to run it using YOLO V11. Let's get started. First, we will start by installing required libraries. I am going to install matplotlib, pillow, numpy, opencv, and ultralytics. We are going to see what each library does. Matplotlib to visualize result, pillow to load data like images in Python friendly environment, numpy to perform fast numerical operation on image data, opencv to read and write image or to draw shapes or to manipulate pixels and most important ultralytics to import our YOLO model in our environment. So first task is object detection. So what is it? Object detection finds and classify objects in an image with bounding boxes in it, uh, boxes, uh, using bounding boxes. Like if I am going to take an uh, image as an example, you are going to see there are various images in in various objects in this image like there is a person there is a, another person there is bus there is cycle and we are going to detect it using a uh, yolo v11 model for object detection we just have to import yolo v11 uh, n uh, point uh, pt variant uh, N stand for it's the smallest uh, uh, model of YOLO V11 object detection series. We can also detect X variant, which is going to be heavy. So now uh, detect uh, our uh, objects in image. So you are going to see there are various uh, objects we have detected using YOLO V11 object detection, like handbag bicycle backpack bus person uh, and uh, a car these are all the things which are in coco data set so now let's go to our next uh, uh, next uh, task image segmentation image segmentation uh, what is it image segmentation assign class level to each pixel perfect for precision understanding of shapes and boundary like uh, let's take our previous end like in, in bond in object detection the model just draw bonding boxes around the object but in uh, image segmentation it will assign each pixel of that object a value like if that belongs to an object or not let's take an example image like you are seeing two cowboys uh, in front of a beach so we are going to import our image segmentation model so image segmentation model we have just to use uh, dash seg uh, we can also use x uh, variant for this model uh, now we are going to use image segmentation in that first we use uh, uh, see how many objects we have detected it has detected two person two horses which is right let's visualize these results on our image as you can see each pixel is getting a different color uh, for each class of object uh, for horse each pixel is getting red color or pink color or and for person each pixel is getting a blue color through this it is better we can better visualize what object uh, is and where it is so let's take another example like you are seeing uh, an image of uh, various vehicles let's uh, use our uh, object segment uh, image segmentation in it now you are seeing the car uh, is getting uh, white color and the motorcycle is getting green color and they, 
behind it there is a bus which is in pink color so it give us a better visualization of, of what object shape is and where it is but the the standard yolo model can detect uh, segmentation with bonding boxes which is quite irritating for us we can create a function special function for that to just display segmentation we will run that function hmm. now let's visualize our object in uh, without any bonding boxes hmm. as you can see the image objects in images are segmented very nicely and there is no bonding boxes the in it so let's get to our next uh, uh, task of the uh, yolo v11 which is oriented object detection what is oriented object detection uh, it's same as object detection but it's just rotate bonding boxes it is useful in aerial and uh, aerial or rotated views like uh, i have to give an example uh, you are seeing here there is an aerial view of uh, airplane uh, you can see uh, you, we are going to first use object detection model on it and see the result as you are seeing object detection model has dropped bonding boxes which is taking a lot of space uh, yeah, this area is uh, very much yeah, empty this area is very much empty so it's uh, it's creating drawing bo bonding box on the axis of x and y which uh, is uh, very space consuming in our image but using uh, oriented object detection we, we are uh, going to visualize these object uh, detection bonding boxes using a more precise rotated bonding boxes as you can see it has been rotated at a specific angle which matches the uh, object orientation and it reduces our bonding box uh, area which is good in aerial uh, aerial viewing like if i have to view from a spy i don't want our uh, bonding boxes to be overlapping each other so hmm. Let's take another example. Uh, this is an uh, aerial view of ship on in ocean. Let's visualize our oriented object detection on it. As you are seeing, the or the bonding boxes is clearly in orientation of the ship. It is leaving no extra spaces or uh, area in our detection, which is very beneficial in aerial surveillance. Now let's get to next vision task, which is pose estimation. We uh, we all know about pose estimation, but pose estimation is basically key point detection. We just have to uh, join key points. Uh, to make it uh, a skeleton which we call pose estimation in yolo we can uh, use this model using dash pose so we import our yolo model let's take an example this is a basketball athlete as you were seeing it uh, now let's uh, uh, visualize pose estimation on it so as you are seeing, it's detecting key point at every joint, like uh, shoulder, elbow, uh, hand. And there it also is. Uh, oh. And it's on knees and foot and uh, on head. It's great for uh, analyzing the person orientation in a 3D space. Let's take uh, an, another example. This is an athlete who is running. Uh, running. In this image, you are seeing an athlete running. So we will use our pose estimation model on it. Uh, as we can see, Yolo 11 has detected it perfectly. 
the knee and joints has been detected very clearly and there is uh, his skull and there is his feet let's get to our next more that a vision task which is classification uh, so in what is different with object detection and classification like if i am detecting object it's also labeling the uh, class of an object but in classification it's predicting main class of the entire image for example first we import our model uh, which is uh, using dash cls hmm. let's take an example in this uh, image we are going to classify the whole image class uh, means the the major object of this image like it, it's a bird we have to classify which bird it is so let's classify it using uh, yolo v11 model as you can see it's an ostrich it's saying 100% uh, that it's an ostrich let's take another example uh it's also a bird let's detect which bird it is uh it's a vulture which is detected by yolo v11 let's take another example hmm. it's also a bird let's see which bird it is it's a bald eagle so in that way we can classify many objects using a classification model of yolo so let's see how many classification models are there so oh there are uh, 1000 classification classes in yolo uh, v11 as you can see it ranges from gold face to uh, kite to indian cobra to many more thousand classes are there for classification uh, so with this we end our tutorial to explore more I to explore more we recommend you to read our uh, blog on the only uh, yolo wheel and multi labeling guide you will ever need in this guide we are going to explore uh, this tutorial